What's up guys, Theo here, and in this video we're going to go over higher order components in React. Uh, but to understand this concept, you need to have an idea of what a higher order function is in JavaScript. So I'm going to explain this. Um, basically we're just going to create a function that is going to take in an object and um, basically just wrap that object uh, inside of a function, right? It's going to return to us another function that when invoked, we're going to get, you know, the object back with a property added on, right? So we're just going to call it enhance, enhance object. And this is a function which takes in an object. And all it's going to do is return to us back um, a function that, uh, that, uh, so return to us back a function that when invoked, is actually going to give us um, this object back. Let me do this real quick. Return. It's going to return um, the object. We'll do it like this. We'll do object dot assign um, that object, and we'll do prop equals new prop you so what happens here is when we call enhanced we can say let enhanced equal enhance object and we're just going to pass it that object and now when we log out enhanced let's look at what we have here um, so we've got that and when we invoke it we're going to get undefined so let me go ahead and return this one more time so now we have an object with a new prop right and if we pass in our own props the name of Theo right and that's that's basically what we're getting right there we're getting our object with a new object added on right and that's the function that's wrapping it so uh, let's do this with react so I started up a create react app and we just called it higher order component and uh, let me go ahead and do cdhoc, we'll do yarn start, let me open this up again, do cd desktop, cdhoc, cd source, let me open this up, actually let's go one layer out, cd sublime, let's so got our app right there, and this is going to be more for logging than actual visual uh, visualization uh, but what we can do is we can create a higher order component that's just going to be called enhance component .js and to get this to work like always we're going to go ahead and import and change this Babel JavaScript import react and component off of the react library and what this will do okay uh, we're going to have it take in a component, so we're going to say const enhance component. It takes in a component, we'll just call it base component. It's a very simple example. And what it will return to us is um, class enhanced, I'm going to call it enhanced component. Uh, let me actually do it like this. Return class uh, enhanced component extends the React component, and what I want to do here is just say uh, state name you have been enhanced. Okay, and now uh, we'll give it the render method like always, and here in our return signature what we will do is actually just say uh, base component and we want to spread uh, the props and the state so we'll say ah, my bad we'll say dot 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 this dot props we don't have any props but let's go practice to do so and this dot state and now finally let's export it export default enhance Enhance component. Okay, so that's our enhanced component. And now let's build a component just like a 
uh, I don't know, we'll just say it's a map, right? Map.js, and we'll go ahead and build this out real quick. Import React and component from React. And we'll also import, go ahead and rename this real quick. Enhance component. Turn the lights liking that. Enhance component.js. Why does it not like that? Okay, en enhance component. So uh, instead of our map, what every time I instead of our map, let's also import enhance component from enhance component. Okay, and it's just a function. So um, basically we're just gonna have this map and we're gonna say class map extends component and we'll give a render method return. You can make this a stateless functional if you want. And we'll just give it a div and we'll say div I am a map component. Okay. And now when we export it, we're going to export default enhanced component. And we're going to pass it our map. Okay. And instead of app.js, let's go ahead and import map from map. And let's instead of saying welcome to React, let's put our map component right there. Let it refresh. And what is it telling me? This dot state. Okay, let me look real quick. Base component. This dot props unexpected token. Ah. Okay. So return our base component. So I map component. Cool. So let's actually look at what this did for us. See how it wrapped it up for us. I'm gonna open up the React uh, dev tool. And so we have our app and we have a map and you notice now it's inside of it, our enhanced component. So this can now manage and sort of intercept the state before uh, we get to the map component. So I actually did this at work today. I had a um, calendar component I was building and I built sort of an enhanced method on it that handled all the lifecycle methods building the calendar. And so now we can have more specific calendars inside of there. Okay, so as you see, our enhanced component has the state, you've been enhanced, and our map um, is past the props, but hold on, why is it not past the state? Let me see real quick. Uh, Index.js, map.js, enhanced component, dot, 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 render this dot state. Um, let me see why that's not passing it. Enhanced component props state and the map is not being passed the state. Ah, let me figure this out. Extends component plus enhanced component. Um, why is this not? Wanting to give me a constructor stuff state name you have been enhanced. Okay, let's try this again. Constructor ah, my bad. Super props. Ah, why am I putting it there? Super super props and props. Okay, cool. Let's refresh this. Let's look one more time in our app. Enhance component state and map only has the props. Okay. Mm. Return base component. Dot, dot, dot. Let me see. And equals two. Okay. Let's look at this again. We got our app. Enhanced component as props map has a prop name. Okay, so it's getting a, it's getting our name right there. Uh, why is it not getting state though? Return class and state equals name. I am enhanced. Let me just try and spread. Actually, state. Yeah, I think that's wrong. State is not fine. This dot state. I'm not sure why it's not. It's not letting me pass. State. 
Good. Turn is good. Stop hubs is still stupid. Hmm. That's kind of weird. Name. Oh, sorry. It actually is. It's being passed as a prop. My bad. Sorry about that, guys. I don't know why. I'm tired from work. Um, so, basically, we have now passed everything we wanted to. And we could also pass the age right here of 23 if we want. So, we have our app. We've got our enhanced component. And we've got our map that has these props on it right here. Uh, so that's a very basic example, uh, but one thing I would like to do, let me go ahead and install this. We'll do npm id prop types. And what, I, what we can do is actually inside of our map, uh, what I want to do is just set the prop types on our map, right? Um, or actually set the default props if nothing's passed. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to import prop types from prop types and so instead of setting them down here right you could do map.default props that's what I normally do I'm gonna actually uh, create another method in here and this is going to be called set this is like recompose if you heard of that set default prop types okay so this is also gonna import react and component or actually, I'm trying to think. No, I don't think we need, we might need React, but let me just try it without. So this is just a function, all right, called set default prop types. And it takes in some prop types and it returns to us um, our base component that in turn is going to let us set base component dot default default props equals default props let me check change this to default props and finally we just need to return basically and this is actually very similar to the implementation on recompose i was actually looking at it for inspiration finally we will export default set default prop types okay so with that if we bring this in now um, to our map component what we can do is call, we can bring it in, we can say import uh, set default prop types from set default prop types. Okay. So instead of doing enhanced component here, first we're going to do set default prop types. This takes in an object and we'll just say, um, we actually, I don't think we, yeah, we don't really need that. So we can just do, what was I passing? Just a name and an age, your name. Jimmy John and an age is 55 and then finally because this returns to us a function that we need to invoke uh, we're gonna pass in our enhanced component with the map and now let's go ahead and refresh this make sure everything still works it looks like it does okay so uh, what we look at here is now we have age Jimmy John and let's see our enhanced component. The stop state age is 23, and those are our default props uh, on the enhanced component, right? Uh, if nothing is passed. So let me actually get rid of that, and we'll just pass in um, da 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 the stop props. And let's go ahead and look at this one more time. Uh, what did I do? Okay, there we go. Let's look at this one more time. And now that we have not passed in anything, uh, we got 
props, age of 55, name of Jimmy John, and age of 55, name of Jimmy John. And just to show it here, we can, um, we can do a json.stringify of this.props um, null and four. And let's look at this real quick. So we have name, Jimmy John, age of 55, and if we decided to uh, pass in some more props instead, change this to 60 maybe. So we can sort of see that this is a more functional way of setting our prop types. It might seem like a little bit more work, um, but we're handing off the heavier lifting to this function, which is really just a, almost like some middleware in our functional uh, utility belt. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this on uh, React higher order components. If you did, leave a comment. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Take care.